Good morning, everyone. Um, getting ready to go down to the church again this morning to record our service for Sunday, which is our Pentecost service. Um, doing it a little bit differently this Sunday, so um, it'll be a slightly different format, but um, uh, I think that uh, it'll be one that you will enjoy and be blessed by. Um, we're also, uh, on Sunday, we're going to be hearing, hopefully, from um, uh, people on three different continents uh, bringing greetings to us uh, as part of the church around the world on Pentecost Sunday. So uh, that'll be something to look forward to. We're continuing our series uh, in the Psalms uh, and we are uh, looking at Psalm 15 this morning. Let me read it to you. O Lord, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell on your holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart, who does not slander with his tongue, and does no evil to his neighbour, nor takes up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but who honours those who fear the Lord, who swears to his own hurt and does not change, who does not put out his money at interest and does not take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. strange um, positioning of the Psalms, I suppose, next to each other, because in Psalm 14, we are told very clearly, no one is righteous, not one. There is no one who seeks after God. And here in Psalm 15, we're asked the question, who can dwell uh, in the tent of the Lord? Who can, who can uh, set foot on his holy mountain? And the answer is only the righteous. So if no one is righteous and only the righteous can set foot in God's presence, then who can do that? Who can dwell in God's presence? The psalmist goes on in Psalm 15 to, to lay out the, um, the characteristics of this righteous person who can dwell in the house of the Lord. Someone who has never lied someone who's never gossiped about uh, somebody else maliciously, somebody who's never spread nasty rumours, somebody who always condemns uh, an evil person for what they do, someone who always honours God's people, who always lifts them up, who always encourages them, who always, uh, who always exalts them above themselves. Someone who always keeps their promises. Someone who's always honest with their dealings and generous to those who are in need. That's the righteous person. And that person, says the psalmist, will never be moved. They will be unshakable. Uh, their place uh, within God's house will be assured. So who is that righteous person? Because as I think about those characteristics that are laid out by the psalmist, it's not me. And I dare say it's not you either. Who is this righteous person who can dwell in God's tent? Well, of course, the gospel gives us the answer to that question. And the answer to that question is that while you and I are not able to dwell in the presence of the Lord in our own strength or in our own righteousness or lack of it, we are able to dwell in God's tent. We are able to live in God's presence in Christ's righteousness. Who is this righteous person who can uh, sojourn in God's tent, who can dwell on God's holy hill? It is you and me as we are found in Christ. It is as we are clothed in his perfect righteousness that we can stand in God's presence. It means that when God looks at us, he doesn't see our sin, all the things that we've done wrong. He doesn't see the lies and the gossip and the rumour spreading and all of those things. He sees Christ, 
who always honoured God's people, who always kept his promises, who always was honest and overwhelmingly gracious and generous to those he met. When God looks at us in Christ, that's what he sees. That's who he sees. No one but Jesus ever lived with perfect integrity. And in these days, in particular, in this last week, when we've been thinking a lot on the media and, um, you know, I guess talking a lot in our own homes about integrity, we need to remember no one, not you, not me, no one ever lived with perfect integrity other than Jesus Christ. But because he is our saviour, because that one person of perfect integrity is the one who also went to the cross for us, we can stand in the presence of a holy God and know his love, know his mercy, know his grace. That's a tremendous encouragement today. Who can sojourn in your tent? Who can dwell on your holy hill? You and I can. You and I can in Christ. God bless. Uh, and I hope that you're able to join us on Sunday for worship. Uh, take care.